Well, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here now. I've read the book and I've looked at a couple videos on TV and stuff, but it's time to fit this uh, fabric up to this wingtip bow. I got to cover up my big, beautiful Make America Great Again wingtip bow. You can see it's curved and you really don't want to be, well, it's going to have wrinkles in it. You really don't want to put darts in it and make cuts in it and stuff like that. But you can heat form this fabric to fit up around here. And I've been watching the videos and stuff on how to do it. And I did it on uh, curves on the elevators and on the rudder and it turned out just fine. And this is bigger than those so it should turn out okay. But we'll find out here in a minute whether I screw this up or not. Basically what you do is you take the iron and you heat shrink this around this bow here so it takes out all the you got to take and I don't know whether I should have had this right side up or upside down some of the pictures had it one way and some of them have it another way but basically you uh, leave enough fabric on here to pull on this and I kind of heat formed this fabric around that butt end down there and a couple other spots and it worked okay but this is a lot here to deal with And this iron might not exactly be the best iron for this. I don't know how much control I have on the temperature of this. I don't want to get it too hot. Um, because that's how you shrink the fabric. But i got to get it warm enough so that it does shrink the fabric to form around this edge here. Like you see, you want it to form around that edge so that there's no wrinkles in it. It's actually coming around, going around those elevators is actually a sharper curve than this so we want to come around this corner and form it around this bow and then glue it up to the bow but I'm actually going to want to, hey, that's coming out pretty good so far. I'm actually going to want to go over the edge of this and glue this down on the inside of this bow. So I'm going to want to go not only around the bow like this, but I'm going to want to go down in. So that's coming pretty good so far. I might be trying to move too fast. I'm worried about shrinking this fabric too much and not having enough to shrink it to fit the wing when I'm done. I don't want to pull too hard on this as that will stretch the fabric and that de defeats the purpose of shrinking it.
Oh, here we go. We got a whole bunch of it bunched up right there. basically run the iron pull the fabric tight around here and run the iron perpendicular to the bow so as it comes out here the fabric shrinks out this way you want plenty of fabric to grab a hold of and pull and it shrink shrink it out here if you don't have enough fabric pulled out there then it won't work Uh, is actually looking pretty darn good, I think. I think that did it. I think that did it. So, I guess the next thing to do is to get ready to glue that up. Oh, I'll mix up some, I'll put some hand cream barrier on my fans. It takes a little bit for that stuff to dry up once it goes on. All right, now the instructions say to do this fast, to do the whole thing all at once, and you have to move fairly quickly before the polytrack cures. So I'm going to do it and put a good bed on here. I'm just going to do the front face here first and once that's stuck on then we'll come back and trim it up uh, to length and go down and put this first layer on the inside too. They don't want it to um, stick. I mean, I want it to stick, but I don't want it to the uh, top of the uh, fabric to stick down on the back side of the wingtip bow here, which happens can happen sometimes when you're uh, going over a curved piece, double piece. You can it'll sometimes stick on both sides, and then you got to pull it out, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, let's give this a shot here. There we 
go. That's it. That's what I want to do. Pull that tight. Doesn't have to be too tight, but I don't want it sticking in there. Yeah, let's get this a little tighter here. There we go. So I've already shrunk this fabric a little bit.
All right, there it went. Smooth as a baby's diaper. Wait, I put lots of uh, polytac on there and rubbed it through, but by taking some MEK and some thin polytac and rubbing here on the outside now. I can loosen up the polytac inside the um, fabric and rub it and get the uh, polytac to come through even more and better and kind of work out some of these wrinkles that I had in here and smooth this out really nice. All right, well, that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So I'm going to let that set up now. And I'll have to iron it to get it finished. We've got dry spots there showing up a little bit. I can take some thinned polytac on the brush here and rub it in by hand and make sure it gets in through the weave of the fabric and bonds down with the polytac underneath. All right, now once this sets up a little bit, it won't take very long, I'll go ahead and cut this off here and then just tuck it down on the back side of this. I'm feeling it now to see if I got any places where it's sticking. And there's a spot right there where it might be sticking. Where the top fabric is sticking to the bow in a bad spot. But I think it's pretty doggone good. Okay. That's that. I don't know what I was worried about. Piece of cake. Okay, so I've got my dividers here, and this first section down here is not going to be as deep as the rest of it because it's only 5 eighths of an inch thick here. So if I put this, I had these dividers set for an inch, so if I put them to the outside of this, that's a half inch. So that gives me a half inch that, the, that I'm marking the fabric approximately. I can go a little farther here as I'm coming around where that wasn't, wasn't tapered. Now if I take my little brush and I've got the thinned polytac over here, I'll just take some thinned polytac and go over that line.
This polytack on this fabric is dried enough, cured enough now that I can go ahead and cut this extra piece off of there. Well, I think that looks pretty darn good. Yeah, we'll have to do something with that. That's ugly there. But this is pretty. This is pretty nice here. I'm happy with that. All right. That is fan damn tastic. Oh man, that is nice. I'm going to have to go over it with a rag with some MEK and get the residual polytack out of it, but well I was thinking I might need to turn that over make sure the bottom of it was smoothed out too, but I think I got it pretty darn good. Yeah, I can feel a polytack that pulled through there. Take a rag and wipe that down, but yeah, I'm thinking I did a pretty good job there. I'm happy with myself. That's better. That's a nice straight line there now. Doesn't look nearly as bad as it did. So I'm happy with that. Everything looks really good. That bow turned out good. I might still have to do just a little bit more iron work on it down here. See what it looks like tomorrow. So right now it looks pretty good. So that's good. I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy.